Camped by a billabong under the shade of a cooler bar tree. Now, there's a familiar line, and very accurate too. That's a cooler bar, and you find them by billabongs. In fact, you find them wherever you find them, there's water. And the early pioneers knew that when they were building their houses, because they'd go to a creek, they'd find where the cooler bars grew, and up the banks above the line of cooler bars, they'd build their houses, and they were safe from the floods. The early explorers liked them too, because they did really throw a lot of shade. They're about as wide as they are tall, and that means a tremendous amount of shade, and they're great for camping under, because unlike the river red gums, they don't drop their boughs on you. They're a very interesting tree because, uh, apart from other things, they've got the hardest wood of all of the eucalypts. They are a true eucalypt. And that meant that the explorers liked them for leaving marks on. They blazed their marks in there, and the very tough wood stood the test of time. Birkenwills camped under this one, and it's right beside the famous dig tree, which has a lot of explorers marked. It's just over there. Burke left his mark in it, and it's still there. And the famous dig inscription was cut on the other side of it. And later on, the explorer Howitt, the one who took back Burke and Will's bodies to Melbourne, cut his mark there as well. And somebody, in 1898, was moved by the fate of Burke and carved his likeness on a nearby cooler bar as well, and put his own inscription there. In fact, through this country, you can chart the progress of explorers by the marks they left on the cooler bar trees. Many of them are still there.